All right, so now we are on Nintendo's showcase, which is basically called Nintendo's Treehouse, which was the live stream, basically. Now, this lasts for two days. So, let's talk about day one. Day one, they gave us about, like, 45 to 50 minutes of Pokemon Sun and Moon, mostly gameplay. While people involved with the game, you know, they talked with some of them um, people from Nintendo's Treehouse. Talk about the game and things of that nature. It looks dope. I can't wait for it to come out. I already got a reserve. And you know what? It comes out November the 18th. Then, of course, they spent the remaining time on the new Zelda game, Legend of Zelda, which now have a side title, Breath of the Wild. And they spent like over five and a half hours playing the game and talking about it. And we talking different people who made the game, different people from Nintendo, Different people from Nintendo Treehouse, things of that nature. And they talk about everything you can do. Like, you could basically camp, do um, these dungeons and trials, and there's going to be puzzles and things of that nature. They didn't really get into the story. And, you know, they wasn't really allowed to in order to not give anything away. And despite all of this, there was no release date for it. Now, that's, that's basically it for game one. Then we move on to game two, where there was, okay, they gave us more stuff more content and they started off with pokemon go and for those of you who are not familiar with pokemon go basically it's pokemon on your phone that's basically what it is um you walk around with your phone up with the pokemon go app up and suddenly a pokemon will appear in front of your face on the phone of course and then of course you don't have any pokemon to battle it you just got to catch it with a pokeball you got time to throw right it doesn't that nature. They also introduced Pokemon Go Plus. It's a small little device. And I think you can um, put it around your wrist as well. And it basically lets you know where, when you encounter a Pokemon. So if your phone not up, that's okay. Because Pokemon Go Plus will basically, it's your alert device. So it's like, hey, you just encountered a Pokemon. And you had the option to either taking the phone out, catching it yourself, or let the device pokemon go plus do it for you and it'll let you know if you caught it or not and the device comes out in july and it would be 35 dollars, which is crazy but yeah pokemon go don't have a release date so obviously the plan is to have pokemon go come out before july all right so they spent some time talking about that then they moved on to a couple of games ever oasis which is a single player game coming out next year for the 3ds we got gameplay for it, which is pretty cool. You know, some people from Nintendo and Nintendo Treehouse were talking about the game. But again, it's on the 3DS. After that, we got Box Box Board, which is a sequel to Box Board. And again, and I, I, we got gameplay throughout all the game, too. Really throughout the entire Nintendo Treehouse. Every game that was presented there, they giving us um gameplay. But back on, back to Bo Boy Box, which is the sequel to Boy Box, it comes out this month, actually, June the 30th, on the 3DS. Then after that, we get Mario Party Star Wars, which looks pretty cool. And, I mean, it's cool because there's no turns. You don't have to wait for your turn. It's always your turn. So they kind of speed up Mario Party a bit here. Four people can play. It, and they're going to come out with Rave 2 of the Super Mario Brothers Amiibos, which include a glow-in-the-dark boo. So a lot of people are going to be going crazy over that one. It comes out November 4th for the 3DS. Then after that, we got Your Kai Rocks 2. And they gave us two different types of game, this, um, games with this one. The first one is called um, Bony Spirit. And the other one is called Fleshy Souls. So, yeah, and there's four-player co-op mode, including, I mean, which will be included, rather. It's called Your Kai Busters. And that comes out September 30th. And you guessed it. On the 3DS. Next up, Monster Hunter Generations. And this one going to come out July the 15th. It got four-player co-op. Looks cool. But again, you guessed it. On the 3DS. Then after that, we got Dragon Quest 7, which comes out here September the 16th. It will be the 30-year anniversary of Dragon Quest. And originally, this one was not supposed to be released in the rest, um, Western Hemisphere, rather, because of the crazy volume of text in the game. Because apparently there's a crap ton of reading involved, and they had to basically translate it from Japan, 
from Japanese rather to English and things of that nature. But and so again, they originally they were not going to do it, but then they got like a bunch of emails. There was a petition for it and pet for pet for it to come out in Paris and in the U S. So they said, screw it. We're going to do it. And they did. And it's going to be coming out. You guessed it on the three DS. Then we got Tokyo Mirage Sessions, uh, hyphen, not hyphen, but the hashtag F E AKA fire Ember. comes out this really this Tuesday, uh, not this Tuesday, next week, Friday, um, June the 24th. And it's on the Wii U. Got you this time. Yes, finally they got some Wii U games that they showed us at this um, live treehouse event. So finally, then we got Paper Mario Color Splash again. Gameplay with this one comes October seventh for the Wii U. Yeah. So none of you would think it'd be for the 3DS. Nope, not this one. It's out for the Wii U. Then the last game they presented us was um Rhythm Heaven Mega Mix, which is on the 3DS, and unlike all the other games that are presented during this Nintendo Treehouse fiasco, this game, however, is out now. So, yeah, there you go with that. So, yeah, like I said, every game presented at the Nintendo Treehouse event, um, they gave us gameplay. So, there was, like, no t- trailer, only that's it. No, they gave us gameplay for every game they got there, and, yeah, that's basically it. Now, again, there were some games presented on the side by Nintendo, but they were not uh, shown here so yes make sure to check that out um now the previous video which is on a lot which is uh, shown at the top left corner that one was me covering sony's press conference now on the top right corner is me covering square index presents on um, live stream which lasted for not one not two but three days and yeah there you go with that man so, yeah, y'all know who this is. This is the new Jay Gatsby saying peace out, y'all. Thank you for tuning in to this one. Hopefully you watch my other videos. Yeah.